welcome to Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show 2024. Um, this is what we got when we arrived. We went into one of the two large grooming tents and we found a little spot for Jamba to settle into and we could uh, do some prep work on him. See, he's got his drying coat on. Doesn't he look handsome? What a good looking boy. Yes, Jamba, you are a good looking boy. So in this video, I thought I would try to give you a taste of what it's actually like to compete in a big dog show like this. It's quite different from a lot of the other dog shows. Uh, after uh, we did a little bit of prep work on Jamba, we went down to the area where the ring was, which is inside the big stadium, uh, the Arthur Ashe Stadium at the Tennis Center. And uh, just kind of awe-inspiring to walk down this tunnel you know, I could imagine being like a like a Djokovic or somebody like that walking uh, to the uh, welcoming crowd that awaits you inside. Uh, we didn't get a lot of cheers when we came in, uh, but, uh, well, there was a security guard there and a few other people. And uh, there were three rings set up inside the stadium. The, the roof was closed, so we had no weather problems of any sort. But in a show as big as Westminster, with about 2,500 dogs entered, uh, there are lots of rings set up all around the grounds of the tennis center. We were very fortunate to be inside. This is kind of what it looked like. Kind of interesting that it looks to me like there's more people down where the tennis court usually is. Uh, than in the stands. Most people don't know that the breed competition, I think, is really the most interesting thing. Um, I just want to go and see the Cavaliers. That's my big interest. And uh, you only see one Cavalier if you go in the evening to see the group competition, but during the day we got to see all the Cavaliers entered. Well, we found a spot on the floor to uh, get Jambo all primped up and do the final preparations, make him look very handsome for the ring. Um, again, I was really very inspired by the fact that we're standing where some of the greats in tennis have stood and will be standing over the next few years. We're competing in our own little sporting event. So it was finally time for the Cavaliers to enter the ring. There were uh, about 30 or so entered these are like 30 of the finest cavaliers from all around the country got kind of crowded when the bunch finally came in way back there there's Alyssa with the green dress on and behind the other entry there's Jamba he's the brown and white dog <laughs> just kidding now he's behind the table and there he is this was really just to kind of take attendance make sure all the entries were accounted for uh, and uh, first the judge split them into uh, the boys and the girls, and then he started with groups of about six or eight Cavaliers at a time, and uh, so we had to wait a little while before we got to go in. Finally, Jamba's little subgroup got to go in, and each one of these groups, the judge would take a look at the dog, and uh, at the end of that particular segment, he would make a cut and take a few dogs from that group to come back in to compete for best of breed later on. So Jamba got his little moment in the sun and uh, while the judge was watching the other dog move, Jamba got set up. Alyssa does a very good job of getting him set. Notice she's very careful about where his feet are placed and how they're placed, how he's standing, how his top line and tail look and just getting, getting everything ready so that when the judge turns around and takes a look at Jamba, he will get a really nice picture. And then he does a table examination, which every single dog gets. He starts with the head, looking at the expression, the eyes, the nose, all those things. Um, this is what it would look like if you were standing in the middle of the ring. And uh, actually, it kind of nice uh, looking at him uh, you'll see his top line is beautiful he's got very good angulation both in the front and the back his coat looks nice he was very well presented today so the judge uh, finishes the last thing he asks for is to see the bite so he can check to make sure that the teeth are placed correctly 
and then it comes Jamba's turn to move. And he just goes down to the opposite corner and back. And uh, I was trying to get a good look at him going down and back, but uh, the judge got in the way. But I guess he's got to take a look at the dog, much more than I have to take a look at the dog. And then he gets one more good look at the dog stacked, and a final look of him going around the ring. He looks nice, I have to say. I like the way he moves. And after that wonderful performance, my hopes were really high for Jamba, uh, that he would, at the minimum, make the cut so he could go back in and be considered for best of breed or one of the other prizes given out. Uh, there's a select dog. There's also uh, awards of merit. So the judge asked them to go around the ring one more time, one dog at a time, so he could get a good look at how they move and how they look in profile. And then it came time for his cut to be made. And i am still got my fingers crossed at this point. Come on, point the jamba, point the jamba. And he points to somebody else. And a few other people. But not jamba. But as I've said many times in the past, in this sport, knowing how to lose is just as important as knowing how to win. So we were very happy with the way Jamba performed, and we just had to be satisfied with the fact that he did his best. Now this is the dog that won the breed. They call him Romeo. The woman to the right is his breeder. The woman to the left is one of the owners, and uh, she actually lives in the same town we live in. So we are familiar with this dog, and we were very happy, and we're going to be cheering him on tonight. Meanwhile, Jamba got to relax and watch a little bit of the dog show along with us. In case you weren't aware of it, at this show, the only dog that you see in that evening televised portion is the winner of the breed. Had to go through all this to get there to represent the breed in the toy group. But in our minds, Jamba is a wonderful representative of the Cavalier breed. Way to go, Jamba boy.